Rookie, are you still alive? Well, glory to the nanochips. Everything is very bad, man. They constantly lie to us. We are in complete shit. The whole damn planet is in shit. Full evacuation announced. The government has already left the planet. What is this? Holy crap! The central nervous system is restored. Exit hibernation mode. Situation critical. Extensive tissue damage and organ failure found. Activating artificial life support system. Launching pioneer protocol. Transferring consciousness. Hello. Please do not worry. I transferred your consciousness to the free resources of the orbital station. While the body is recovering, you appear here in the form of a hologram. I am the neural network, of the Orpheus model orbital station. I'm your guide, equipped with a basic set of social algorithms. The virus damaged the archives, so I can't look up your name. But I do see you have a pilot license, for the engineering core robotic shells. I transferred your regeneration capsule to another cabin, in order to de-energize the empty modules, thus directing the remaining energy to the regeneration unit. The nervous system has been restored, but there is not enough energy for the rehabilitation of the whole body. To be more precise, there are only a few hours left of available energy. Therefore, there is no time to explain. Get down there and find us energy. Now calm down. I transferred your consciousness to an empty, but still working, shell on the surface of the planet. There was a massacre. Don't you remember the virus attack? You participated in cleaning infected shells. But then the robots attacked and killed the inhabitants, before help arrived. Let's find, and activate the emergency lights. This shell model contains an interface, Mates. Multifunctional Explorer tool for integration in systems. It is implemented as a standard tablet. On the controller there is a button for its activation. There are many functions to be discussed later. For now, click on the connect button near the available device. That's so much better. The bodies in the bags have been here since the day of the incident. Over the years, they should have turned decomposed. There was a line of defense. I wonder how long, it held back the onslaught. Redirect power, from the energy barrier to lighting. Use the interface, mateys.
Judging by the fragments of the shells, it was an intense battle. Go on, I noticed an energy pulse ahead. Behind the bridge are abandoned hangars, there should be an energy module in one of them. We will take the remnant energy from storage. Now these modules, are our main goal. I can send an impulse into a substation, to direct it into orbit. That will gain us some time. This module is almost empty, but there is enough energy to scan the sector, and hack another shell. I'm bringing you back. I must say that, lucky for you, you're the only survivor at the station. During the incident, you were in the antibiotic capsule and it has survived. But you will soon die, if you do not get us more energy. Many years have passed since the day of the incident. I've spent them recovering from a cyber attack while keeping your capsule in working condition. It took all the energy. The station's reactor is now empty and there's no fuel anywhere. But we do have an emergency battery pack. We pump energy we find into it. The battery capacity is small so it needs to be constantly recharged. I will help you, but you will have to do the main work yourself. Well, come on, let's get going. There is an energy signature at the shell assembly plant. It's a good start. I'm sending you there. Get ready for consciousness teleportation. We are there. In this part of the plant, the storage and auxiliary sectors adjoin the assembly lines. At the border of the zones, there should be an energy substation, you again have shell of a pier. This one has no weapons or tools, so be careful. This teleport failed. But there are hundreds of thousands of such portals all over the planet. They are connected into a single network by a teleportation hub. Teleportation technology is imperfect. This network was used only for the transport of goods. Complex organisms die, during teleportation. Only plants survive. This door requires an access code. Explore the room, perhaps there is a clue somewhere. Michael, in case the virus gets here, I programmed a code on the door. I don't think the crazy shells are smart enough to find it. But when you get into your laptop to watch your dirty videos, you'll see it's locked. That's where you'll find the code. Combination, 0, 4, 5, 1. Great, the code is found. I think that in such laptops it will be possible to find a lot of useful information. Now open the door and go to the substation. Wow. What happened here? It seems this place was stormed by a legion of robots. Everything is abandoned and empty. At one point, life was in full swing here. Damn it. Someone set a damn code on the door. The escape routes are cut off. Crazy shells made it through to industrial storages, and infected thousands of other robots. Then the horde broke through all the barriers. They'll be here, soon. We're going to try and get out through the ventilation. If we don't succeed, tell little Alice that Dad loves her very much. The substation has several power modules. Use them all. 
You know the procedure. You should also know that the incident activated a planetary barrier that protects the surface from orbital bombardments. It is impervious to material objects and most signals, but I found breakdowns in the geomagnetic craters of the planet. Only information signals and energy pulses pass through them. Therefore, we can break the shells of robots. Great. Energy transfer completed. Bringing you back to the station. You are welcome. We have a little energy, so there's time to talk. And the most important thing you need to know, is information on the incident, and I'm not talking about a cyber attack, and crazy robots. Everything is clear about that, it was in all the news. The incident is what I call, what happened after. I watched a flash of bright light swallow the whole planet. This light reached me, after that, the broadcast ceased and all the station personnel died for no apparent reason. It was like a weapon of mass destruction, but such a powerful and deadly weapon has never existed. Therefore, one of our main tasks is to find out what kind of device caused this, and neutralize it. I can't move into the body of the robot because these shells don't have enough internal resources to house a neural network of my complexity. Therefore, I need you. I can't force you to do anything. Of course, you are free to sit here and wait for your body to recover, and then spend a long and boring life locked up, eating protein mucus, or you can help me figure it out. You've got to admit, we make a great team. It will be fun. If you agree to help, go to the control room. I will give you access. Great. I knew I could count on you, partner. This is our planet. Most of the infrastructure on its surface looks lifeless. But some complexes are still functioning. In those complexes, I've recorded increased shell activity. But not all of them are aggressive and crazy. Some shells have grouped together and work as a team. Most likely, they are controlled by the surviving colonists. But for reasons unknown to me, these groups are fighting not only with infected robots, but also with each other. So it's not worth counting on hospitality. In any case, you need some kind of protection. I can't break combat shells. They have a powerful firewall. Therefore, we will use the familiar models of the engineering core, with a technical tool. The tool of course, is not a weapon, but I will try to adjust it to a stressful mode of operation. When overloaded, the arc of the spark gap and the welding beam cause significant damage. A nail gun shoots nails over long distances. But that's all in theory. How about some practice? Should we start? Go to the control panel.
You should know, the shells always have two tools. I hack them so that the tool from the blue slot is effective for long range combat, and from red for the close. Remember this, the tools were hacked hastily. They're unstable. But the algorithm can be improved, allowing for the creation of new firmware. I will analyze the operation of devices at the time of their successful implementation and improve the settings as I'm able. Simply put, the more enemies you kill with a particular tool, the better the outcome will be. Let's try testing the hacked tools with something more useful. Find the energy at the center of this platform, and empty it. The enemy goes for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Use melee weapons, from the red slot. Be aware, weapons from the red slot takes the enemy off balance, and do more damage, but are limited in range. Shooters ahead. Use ranged weapons from the blue spot against them. I think you'll figure out what to do next. Alternate melee, and ranged weapons depending on the situation. This lever removes the energy barrier. Use it. Once completed, return to the lever. The levers, buttons and terminals are the same throughout the planet. They are standardized for the interaction algorithm of shells. Look for them to unlock access to blocked areas. Pay attention, the shells of the engineering core are equipped with an augmented reality interface. Above the objects available for interaction, you will see the corresponding hologram.
cavalry has arrived. Watch out for the big guy. Everything is clear. There will be no more guests. These were virus infected shells. Such robots do not make contact. I studied a similar instance at the station after I eliminated it. Its primary directive is the search and destruction of everything that the friend or foe system does not recognize. Well, that's it. We just need to obtain the energy and leave. Great. Energy transfer completed. Bringing you back to the station. Continue sorties and improve battle tactics. Look for any information you can find and get us energy. In the meantime, I will draw up a plan for further action. Besides the energy from the last energy storage, I extracted the Crypto Matrix. With its help it is possible to improve the algorithm of hacking and better reveal the potential of shells. You can use obtained Crypto Matrixes, in the Enhancements menu, on the left hand side of the screen. Sometimes we will have access to objectives with additional bonuses. You will find them on the left, and right, from the main mission. For example, I have now found an object with valuable information that will help you expand your arsenal of tools. I scanned its power grid and found a technical database. This is an archive of serial numbers and authorization codes for the shells that are inaccessible to us. 
Download the archive and I will be able to crack robots with the new tool. Here is another energy hub with a technical archive. It will not be difficult to get it. And we will have a new tool at our disposal.
It is dangerous to stay here. We are leaving. Let's go. Found a new great tool. Our tactical capabilities have increased. Besides the energy from the last energy storage, I extracted the Crypto Matrix. With its help it is possible to improve the algorithm of hacking and better reveal the potential of shells. You can use obtained crypto matrixes, in the enhancements menu, on the left hand side of the screen.